to a new vlog. Today's vlog is one of my favorites to do and that is a productive Monday vlog. I've done one of these before, I believe, but kind of similar to a Sunday reset style, just getting things done, having a day of checking things off. I'm recording this on Monday. We're actually going to Rhode Island later on this week in a couple of days. And so there are a lot of things that I just want to get done, get ahead for the week ahead, just to be able to have some vacation time, even though I do plan on working a lot of this trip too. We're seeing Aiden's family, so it'll be fun to get to spend some time at the beach. Our washer's going, so it's a little bit loud, but I made a list of some things I want to do. So I'll read off the game plan for today. For one, I wanted to read my Bible this morning, which I did outside. I needed to cancel an appointment, plan out the week. I just did that while eating my breakfast. I want to unpack these boxes finally. That's happening today. I need to get rid of it, even if I just move stuff around. Those have been sitting there for a week. They just need to get done. I also want to tidy up our apartment, do some vacuuming, just so when we come home, it's clean. I need to grab some packages downstairs for a video I'm filming tomorrow. I want to go through our fridge before our vacation, and then I also want to pack and work out. We also have friends coming over this evening, but that's not till later. So that is today's game plan. Most of these things are just things I'm doing at home. Just want to get a lot of stuff done before our trip. I wasn't really recording this morning because Aiden had a call. He was at home, and then he just went into the office. This, but I've been making this breakfast every single morning and it is so good. I found this on Instagram reels and essentially it's like a healthier berry crumble. So you mix oats, a little bit of mashed banana, peanut butter, a couple of tablespoons of flour, some maple syrup, and then you crumple that over frozen berries and you just bake it at 350 for about 15 minutes or so. And I top it with Greek yogurt too. And it was so good. I just ate that here sitting, getting some stuff done when I was planning out my week and everything. And I've been making that like every day. It's so good. So wanted to share that if you're wanting kind of a summer breakfast idea. I love these vlogs. I think they're fun just to kind of give some inspiration if you're trying to start your week off right, trying to get things going, have some motivation for your week. So let's have a productive day. You want your breakfast? <gasps> yes. You was your breakfast. I've had a couple of questions asking how Cash has been adjusting to the move and he has been totally fine. He really likes it. We've been spending a lot of time out on our balcony. His new favorite spot is in the bathroom on the cold tile because it's been so hot here, like you guys know. But one thing that I think has made it a lot easier is just being able to rely on the food that he's been eating. Obviously big changes with dogs can make them really anxious and just feel overwhelmed. And a lot of times that can actually affect their appetite too. And so it's nice. We've been feeding Cash Open Farm, which I'm so thankful they're partnering with me on today's video. You guys know I've talked about Open Farm a lot because we've been feeding Cash Open Farm over the last probably eight months or so now at this point. We were trying for the longest time to find a good dry kibble brand because there's obviously so many brands out there, but personally we love open farm we also love it because cash loves it he finishes his food he just finished right now he doesn't have any allergies with this too which is nice and so the one that we feed him this is the grass-fed beef recipe so this is just their normal kibble we also add in the grass-fed beef recipe freeze-dried raw so we just top a little bit of this kibble with that the thing that i think really makes the biggest difference is actually using the grass-fed beef bone broth for one i really like this because it actually makes him eat all of his food he really likes the bone broth but it's also collagen rich and it has a lot of super food in it so it's great for dogs so i'd love to add this in too and every single ingredient with open farm is ethically sourced so the beef is grass-fed the salmon is wild caught and the lamb is pasture raised they have a bunch of different recipes on their website and all the meat is human grade too and there are also just no crazy fillers on it you can just read all the ingredients right here and they're all things that you can pronounce and they're not crazy scary fillers because it's crazy how many different dog food companies just put a bunch of added fillers in that aren't great for your dog and so i love that we know we can trust open farm that it's great for cash and that he also loves to eat it because that's important too to get him to actually eat his food so i will have open farm linked down below if you guys want to check it out and for a limited time only you can use my exclusive code michelle reed 25 for 25 percent off your first kibble order i will have it linked in the description box of this video if you guys want to check it out they also have treats too if you're not wanting to switch your dog completely over to food they do have treats and everything too that you can use so we love open farm cash loves open farm <laughs> First task for the day it is going through all of these getting the stuff taken out figuring out where to put that stuff and then over here drying my clothes inside because it's too windy to stick them out there but then we're gonna go over here and move this stuff around again I'm not sure if we're keeping like this chair I'm not sure where we're gonna put it this is going in the bedroom for Aiden this desk I'm pretty sure we're gonna put on Facebook marketplace and then this 
we're gonna keep here. Pretty sure I'm gonna move this over here, our bookshelf, and then I'm probably gonna end up putting a very small desk here. So that's kind of the goal. I don't have that yet, but for now, we need to go through this stuff, put those rugs down, so. said this but Aiden's dad is actually an artist and basically all the art that we have in our apartment is his dad's which is so cool like that one over there and then we have this one right here this one is actually of Brooklyn Heights and so that's where I used to live in New York so I love keeping that one I'm gonna find a good place for it but he's just so talented I'm always amazed when I go through his art <laughs> Okay, we've made so much progress. My pile is completely gone, all my pile boxes. This stuff right here is for the balcony that I'm gonna be using tomorrow. So I just wanted to set all that stuff out. Kitchen looks good, kept the table here, but I put the rug under. And then over here, so this desk will obviously not be here. I need to move it to the bedroom, but that's my next thing I'm gonna work on is getting stuff out of there. So once that is done, this will be good right here. We just have our TV set up. I would love to mount our TV just so the cords and everything aren't down there, but I don't really know if that makes sense to do in an apartment that we're not gonna be at for too long. Kept my Monstera here, got my plant still up there. I'm thinking that I might actually keep this mirror here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it here, but I kind of like it here. It's been nice for outfit photos taking them. And then and here's the view from over here. Got the bookshelf over there. Put this rug out over here and then I'm doing laundry so these are out right now. But looks a whole lot better. I don't think I'm ready to go into the bedroom yet. I kind of want to wait an hour or so just to give myself a break. So as my break, I'm going to clean out our fridge. There really isn't that much in here. It's not that dirty or anything. I just want to get rid of some of the food before we go out of town so we don't come back and everything's smelling not great. So we're just going to go through here. Cause we need a little time We need to think things over been letting my camera charge for a second. I need to get an extra battery for this camera because I always have to pause to charge. But now I've been working on the bedroom and it looks so much better already. I'll show you guys some progress. I have three more boxes left, which is crazy. Here's our bedroom progress. So essentially our queen bed is actually going in storage. We're gonna save this for our house for a guest bedroom. And we actually ordered a king mattress, which I'm really excited about. I've always wanted a king bed. We're at a point where it would be nice to have a little bit more space in our bed just because cash lays in our bed sometimes. So we're gonna do that. But in the meantime, this box frame and this mattress need to be stored. So until then, also this looks a little questionable, but this is Cash's toy. It actually just got delivered. So I need to figure out where to put this. But I think in the meantime, we're just gonna keep this here. And then our bed frame is also going to be stored. So this for the meantime, because I can't take this apart, I'm gonna move this over to this wall to get it up and out of the way. Aiden's desk is here. The lazy boy's chair is gonna be placed on Facebook Marketplace. We're just gonna get a simple chair, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna move one of our kitchen chairs over here. And then, yeah, I think we're gonna keep this desk in here, I'm pretty sure, but this is gonna be Aiden's work spot. And then over here, I think we might keep this dresser. I don't know. The thing about this dresser, we got it off Facebook Marketplace. The drawers don't really shut all the time. So we're just using this right now, but not really sure about that. Our nightstands are still gonna stay. I just have this one over here because there's not a ton of space here right now. I need to go through these boxes, also that box. And then these are things we'll probably hang after we get back from our trip. So those I'm probably just gonna move somewhere in the meantime too. But essentially then everything that's supposed to be here will be here, which is the goal. This 
this all you're telling me? I gotta read between the lines Don't you worry, it's plain to see We rehearse so many times Just put some fresh sheets on our mattress. Looks so much better in here now, but I have so much clean laundry that I'm not gonna go through right now, but I'm just gonna dump it all on the bed right now to get it out of the closet for later. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I might have Aiden help me later when he gets home from work because there's quite a bit. Also, I'm really excited because the bed frame that we got, it hasn't come in yet. It will probably come in in July sometime. It's one of those soft frame bed frames because after sleeping on the floor for a little bit, we've realized how much we like it and just how cozy it is. And the soft frame bed frames are just quite cheaper than other brands. So we ordered one and that should come in, like I said, in July, but I've always seen my friend Cayenne, she has one and it just looks so cozy. I mean, she lives in Hawaii, so it looks cozy there no matter what you have, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get that. I'm excited to set it up, but we'll probably keep the bed in this general vicinity but i really just want to keep our bedroom super simple i would like to put curtains in here i have curtains that i never hung up in our old place so i'd love to put those here if possible yeah i'm really excited mostly to juice out the bedroom but that's probably going to take a couple of months or so to do i have self tanner too that i'm going to rinse off that's why i look quite orange in this video but i wanted to say something that i've noticed with this move in particular with moving boxes moving furniture I am able to lift so much more since going to F45 classes and just focusing more on strength. I would look at things and be like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to lift this, this is too heavy. Or when I would lift things, I would just not have proper form and my back would always hurt. But I just feel so much more in shape doing this move and just capable of lifting things. And I wanted to say that because I know with health and fitness, I know that's not what this vlog is about really but it's so easy to focus on things like your looks and wanting to work out to look a certain way which I don't actually think is a bad thing I just think sometimes that can be a bad motivator for people the motivation just to be stronger be able to lift things be able to keep up in your life has been so good for me personally and it's just crazy I've noticed such a big difference especially with my arm strength and my shoulders my back muscles just upper body stuff that I used to not really work out it feels so good. So I wanted to put that in there, just a little PSA to focus on maybe the non-visual benefits of working out and fitness because it's nice just being able to do this by myself and I don't need to wait for Aiden to get home. I can just do things on my own because I'm capable, which is nice. I also love when he can help me too. It's a great thing having someone to rely on too. I also love that. There are many things I would not be able to do without him, but it feels good just being able to get some stuff done today and feel strong and capable. Just took a little break and took cash out and now I'm about to get some work done. It's about three o'clock right now. I cannot believe how much I have done today. It's crazy, especially all of the unpacking and everything. I did not think most of that was gonna get done, but thankful for that. I'm about to do work for the next probably couple of hours and then I'm gonna go to the gym. We were supposed to go to an F45 class, but I saw on Instagram that the AC is out there today and I just can't work out when it's hot. It's already nearly 100 degrees out. It's not as bad today. It's really breezy today, but working out without AC is just not my jam. So <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do a workout downstairs, probably just a run and then maybe some sort of weightlifting. I kind of want to do like something with my glutes. That is the plan until Aiden gets home in a couple of hours too.
Just finished my workout. It's about 6.30 now. We are getting ready for our friends to come over, ordering some pizza. I'm just cleaning up the place a little bit. We got our mattress back there. I need to go store that. And I think I'm gonna go walk cash beforehand. I just took a shower and threw on some clothes real quickly, but I'm excited to eat some dinner, hang out. pickleball tonight which was honestly so much fun that was something that we just randomly decided to get pickleball rackets a couple days ago ended up playing tonight with our friends and it was just so much fun a lot more fun than i thought it was too i'm not like a very competitive sports person <laughs> you can probably pick up that vibe but it was a lot of fun so we ended up doing that the only thing on my list today that i didn't get done was to pack but i think i'm gonna have time to do that tomorrow so it all works out it's about 10 o'clock now this was such a jam-packed day that i am just ready to hit the hay and head to bed so i wanted to thank you guys for watching i also just wanted to say that not every day is super productive like this for me especially if you watch my more days of my life week of my life videos i don't always get this much done and I don't think it's realistic to expect yourself to get yourself to do productive days all the time But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it gave you a little bit of motivation and I'll catch you guys in my next video Which I'm pretty sure will be my balcony refresh video that I'm doing tomorrow So definitely stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys in my next video